so, so, so hurt this morning. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Burnett Life. I hope you all are doing well. Today is a new day. I lost all of my recordings from Friday, yesterday, and this morning. My feelings are so hurt. I'm so distraught. But it will be okay. I figure I'll just do a sit down. It is currently 7.25 in the morning, Monday morning. Um, I just returned home. I dropped Kristen and Christina off at school this morning. Because Christina has choir practice. I was messing with my camera. Trying to change the settings. Because I was in the car. It was dark. And I was trying to figure out why it was dark on the camera. And I, I canceled everything. Apparently format. I formatted the SD card. And I lost everything. All my recordings. So I figured this would just be like a sit down and explain everything to get you guys up to date. So Friday I went and I picked up the couch I drove, oh my gosh, it was such a good video. I drove downtown to the dump. I picked up the couch and everything. It fit in the car, brought it home, took it out. Craig and the kids helped me bring the couch in the house and all that good stuff. Sunday morning, no, Friday evening, I, um, me, Christopher, and Christina went to the store to get Christina a new mattress got her mattress, came in, switched her mattress. Craig said, um, Christina asked, where's the mattress going? I said, put it, um, we're taking it to, to the um, recycling center. Craig said, no, take it downstairs. He's going to sleep downstairs. <sighs> I lost all that footage. All that footage I lost. All that footage I lost. So, um, I'm just sad about all the footage I lost. So, um, Craig said he was going to sleep downstairs in the basement. And, um, he wanted to give me my space. Sunday morning, because the kids been talking about getting baptized and going back to church. They've been asking me. Sunday, we got up to go to church. Craig and I got in this huge argument. Um, I asked him what was, um, what this was all about. He and myself. And he said... He is not fulfilling my needs, so he's going to move in the basement and stay down there for a while. Um, I told him to get the rest of the stuff out the room, and I said it's not because of me that I can't even talk right, right now. <laughs> I'm so, I'm in shock right now. I cannot believe I lost all that footage. I just feel like giving up right now, but I can't. I can't give up. And I will not give up. I was just praying coming home. And just hoping I didn't lose all that footage. And within, I mean like a second, it was all wiped out. 
I'm so... All I could do is just cry. All I could do is just cry. So I told my husband, I said, it's not because of me. I said, don't make it seem like it's my fault. My battery's about to die. Don't make it seem like it's my fault because I've been a good wife. I've been a good partner and I know my well, my um my worth. And he's and I and he said he's going through some stuff that he needs to work out. I said, Yeah, it's you, it's not me. I asked him if he was cheating on me. He said no, he has never cheated on me. All that stuff was on camera. And he told me no, he has not cheated on me or anything. Um I have to change my battery. I am in such disbelief right now. There isn't. Everything is gone. Everything. No, it's on the card. I can't believe I lost all that footage. <clears throat> I need to go in the shower because I worked out this morning. Everything is just... <clears throat> it is 7.33. Christopher is supposed to... His bus is coming at 7.54. I'm just going to spend some time with my son and see him off to the bus stop, shower, and then I'll come back in a right mental state and explain everything to you all. You what now? Nothing. You have your lunch and everything? The alarm. Christopher, I just took a shower. Christopher's, um, I need this piece of hair right here. <sighs> My forehead looks so big, but whatever. I think I'm calm. It just hurts, you know, when your hard work is just wiped out within like seconds. It happens so fast.
I also like to have those videos. I also like to watch those videos because they're meaningful to me. You know, it shows my progress in life. It shows my strength, you know. Um, but it is what it is. It will be better. So, and that's Christopher's bus. Yes, it is. <sighs> so let's go inside so I can, um, so we can chat, y'all. Like, for real. Robin girl is over here. <sighs> I need to clean my glasses because they are very foggy. It has lots of specks on it. I don't know if I should go in my room, on the bed. Um, I think I'm going in my room. On my bed. Grab my tissue because I can already feel the tears coming down my face. Yeah, I mean not coming down my face, but filling up my eyes. Let's chat for a bit here. So, I don't know what's going on with my life right now. I don't know how to take everything that's going on. <sighs> Surprisingly, I've been pretty chill about it. Um, I think I'm just numb to the pain. But... Now that I'm calm, you know, I'm not in my feelings anymore. I'm not emotional. I can, um, this piece of hair right here is just bugging me, but whatever. I can um, explain what's going on <clears throat> so you all can understand. So Friday, yes, this Friday, um, I went to pick up the couch everything went well I will show you guys the couch after I'm done talking but everything went well brought the couch home pulled it out the car um, and put it in the garage I went later on that day I went to the store to get a mattress for Christina she woke up that morning and complained her back was hurting <clears throat> and it was time for her to get a new mattress so um got her mattress we switched craig helped me craig and the kids you know um we all helped we took her mattress in, into her room and and um christina asked where is my old mattress going and i said that we're taking it to 
to the recycling center and Craig said no, just take it in the basement. That's where I'm going to sleep. I was like, okay. So I didn't say anything. <sighs> Sunday morning, um, Saturday, what did we do Saturday? Saturday was pretty chill. We cleaned, um, we just chilled around the house. The kids been talking to me a lot about going to church. So Sunday, Christina also talked to me about being baptized. So Sunday, I took the kids to church. Before we went to church, Sunday morning, Craig and I got into like this really huge argument. <sighs> um, Christina went downstairs to wake him up and tell him that we were going to church. He came upstairs to ask me if I was going to notify him about um, going to church. I said, no, I was not because he chose to sleep downstairs and separate himself from me so as far as i'm concerned it's just me and the kids right now um so he got annoyed at the fact that i wasn't going i guess he got in his feelings that I wasn't going to ask him or tell him that we were going to church so i asked him why he was in the room i was on the floor trying to find like a sweater or something because I brought up my winter clothes. There we go, right there. I brought my winter clothes. And I asked him if, like, what is going on here? You know, is this a separation thing? And he says, yes. I said, okay. Then with that being said, get the rest of your stuff out because he only took out, like, his toothbrush. I'm just hurt because of the video. Everything was recorded. Um, he only had his toothbrush and like his towels and, um, just a few items. So I told him to take the rest of his stuff out, like his suits, the rest of his clothes, his shoes, all that stuff. And let him take it downstairs with him because I don't want to get confused. It's confusing. If you're downstairs, you're downstairs. You're not about to be back and forth in my space and in your space. This is considered my space now. So he went on stating that. It is because of me. Well, that's how I took it because he said, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Obviously, he has tried to change and um, he is not fulfilling my needs, basically, you know. So I'm like, you're not fulfilling my needs. It's not that. I never said you're not fulfilling my needs. You know, I went on to tell him, I said, it's not because of me. It's not because of me, you know. Um, it's just so much going on in my head right now. I hope I'm just making sense to you guys. But anyway, um, I said, don't make it seem like it's my fault. I said, if you have issues going on, that's on you. It has nothing to do with me. You know, he says, um, he can't seem to like make me happy. He's always disappointing me. Then that's not on me. <laughs> that's on him. So then he said, okay, then fine. I am going through some issues that I need to figure out. I said, yes, you are absolutely correct. That's what it is because it's not me. All I know is I'm a good wife. I've been a great wife. You know, um, I know who I am and what I'm not going to stand for or tolerate is disrespect. And um, that was that. He got his stuff. I asked him, is he cheating on me? He told me no. And um, he said he has never cheated on me. And um, it's not his intentions. It's not on his mind or whatever. Okay, whatever. So he got his stuff out. And the kids and I went to church. Church was, church was okay. Um, our church is predominantly white. Um, I also did talk about that on the video. Um... The only thing that could change is just praise and worship. My big thing with churches are praise and worship. You know, um, I grew up in a predominantly white church and that's what I am accustomed to. So it, it feels like home to me, you know, but um, I'm highly considering changing churches because. Um, and furthermore, our church is just filled with older, older people, you know, and um 
there needs to be it doesn't need to be but i think it would be best if there will be if there were younger you know adults like my age have kids our age our kids ages and whatnot but i'm in a search we're looking everyone was happy to see us yesterday some weren't really into it i guess they didn't recognize me because my hair is up it's relaxed and you know it's, my hair changed but moving forward um craig is in the basement and i'm up here so yesterday after church i came inside to make sure you know all his stuff was going like he took everything out um he left his novelties toys and i pack up those things and his um his ties his belt and i took it downstairs to him and he stated to me he said do you think i'm making a mistake do you think it's the best decision that i'm making and at first i told him i said craig i can't tell you what to do i really can't i said you made the decision to leave so it's something that you have to follow through um what else i and I said, you know what? I said, I do think it is a good decision. You know, it is a good decision because I said, I have done a lot, you know, altering in my life to um, accommodate my husband. You know, um, I've changed a lot of myself. And that was also what I added in the argument. I said, I've changed a lot of myself um, for you. You know, and I when I noticed that he wasn't changing for me, that's when I backed up and I'm like, no, I'm not changing myself anymore. So he asked me, he said, what did you do to become better? I told him, I said, I left. I withdrew myself away from my toxic family. One, I went through extensive amount of counseling too. And, um, Three, I put God first in my life, you know. Um, before I met Craig, I was in church and everything. I was a good old Southern church girl. Yes, I was. I did not curse or anything of the kind. Um, you know, I was a born again Christian. I was on a path to really seek God, in which I did. And God has truly blessed me. You know, I still love my husband. You know, I'm grateful for what God has blessed me with. Um, I, we have beautiful children. We have great children. Um, but my husband has a lot of work, work to do. When I met him, he was not in, into the Lord. I um, invited him to church with me. And it's always been, you know, me putting my foot forward, going to church, making sure, you know, we're living good, reminding him to say his prayers, reminding him to read his Bible. And I can't do that for him anymore. That's something that he has to do. Um, my husband is disrespectful towards me. And some, some videos have um, shown where he's been disrespectful, um, not kind, um, I choose to look at the good in my husband because that's what I do. I choose to find the good and not the bad. Furthermore, um, I can't change him. Craig has to change himself. Craig is going through some stuff that only he can figure out. This is not my battle to fight for him. This is his battle, you know. I... I can only be responsible for myself. He can be responsible for himself. It's just, it's, it is a little sad because I had in the mind the epiphany of the perfect marriage. I wouldn't say perfect, but a good marriage, you know. But um, I took that out of my mind. Everybody has their own path to go through in life. And this is his path. I'm going through my journey in life um i will continue to document our lives um but like it is called burnett life it is all of our lives so i will just continue documenting <sighs> where where else am i lord um i am just ashamed 
I shouldn't say ashamed. I should say I feel bad of how I have shown myself on camera as far as like cursing and whatnot. You know, my husband always cursed around me. And when I met him, I asked him, you know, can you please not curse around me? And that was something that he never respected, you know. And when you are around someone who is um, a bad apple, I would say, you somewhat kind of turn out to tarnish a bit, you know. Um, Craig is a great guy. He is a, he is a great guy. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, speak negatively of him. I'm only speaking facts, you know, um, I still love my husband. I truly do. But right now he is going through some stuff that he has to figure out. He never grew up in a home with, um, a mother and father, a married couple. Craig basically raised himself. Um, he doesn't know how to be a husband. I cannot teach him how to be a husband. Only God can teach him how to be a husband. Um, I did pray for God too. And I'm sorry if I'm jumping all over the place, guys, because I'm trying to remember everything. Um, I can only pray for my husband. And I did ask God for forgiveness for, you know, cursing because you guys have listened. I, I talk about Christ a lot. Because what I have been through, it is only God that has brought me through everything that I have gone through. And when I tell you everything, I mean every single thing. Um, so I am, I am, oh my gosh, I am, um. I do feel bad for cursing and making my father in heaven I wouldn't say he's ashamed of me because he would never be ashamed of me. He would never be ashamed of me because I am his own and I know that I'm his. And he is mine. Um, so I did ask for forgiveness. Ask him to forgive me and I am happy this is, I'm happy of this journey. Whenever I'm going through something um, hurtful in my life, I tell God, thank you, because it brings me to like a humbling point in my life. It brings me like back to um, level grounds, you know? So... I really don't know where, um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to lie and say I'm not hurt, but maybe I'm just numbing myself to everything. For some reason, somehow, I know that everything is going to be good. I know that we are all going to be okay. And this is, this is just God's work, you know? And he just has to reveal what's going to um, come out of all of this. But I'm just keeping you guys involved. I'm keeping you guys updated. This is what's going on. And um, I know my husband's watching this. And before my husband comes back into this space, into my space I don't know how long it's going to take but I love myself and I cherish myself a lot um he would have to make a lot of changes and I'm not talking about like a one week change no it has to I have to see like like God has to like show me okay this is it you know um Craig has to lose weight one because he did tell me before we got married, he said he loves to work out. So he has to prove to me that he is working now. He is eating healthy. He has to respect me. He has to um, 
have a relationship with the Lord, um, he has to be kind. He has to be gentle when talking to me. Um, what else? He has to be able to fold clothes after washing them and put them up. He has to be able to mop floors and help me raise the kids and not just allowing all of the housework to be on me. No, that's not going to happen anymore. You know, um, I am not the one for divorce. I am. I have never stepped out on my husband. I love my husband very much. I have never um, cheated or I had um, a feeling of cheating on him. Um, well, <laughs> I've never cheated on my husband. Um, I, I Because God says that <sighs> to get a divorce, that there has to be infidelity. That is the only way. So I'm afraid of God. I'm very afraid of him. I've never cheated on my husband. Um, I don't plan on cheating on him because I don't want the wrath of God on my life. Um, but I don't know how this would end up. I'm just really hurt about all the footage I lost. But um, it is a new day. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope your day is going a lot better than mine. I wouldn't say my day is bad. No, it's not. The girls were in great spirits this morning going to school. Christopher just saw me crying. I'm just praying that, you know, he's not sad because of what he saw. I'm just praying it doesn't affect him. But um, this video is 24 minutes in. Um, and... I have to record a video this evening so I can have something for tomorrow. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. So, I'm in a space by myself. Oh, and I also got a new mattress. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a little firm. I like it. So, yeah. I'm going to edit this video and post it for you all. Welcome, new subscribers. Um, I don't know if I should say I'm sorry that you have to see me like this, um, but it is life. But welcome, guys. My name is Lishir. Um, This is my journey. This is all of our journeys. Um, I have, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I, we have three children. My husband, Craig. Christopher... My husband Craig and I were raising three kids, Christopher, Christina, and Kristen. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs that are coming out. Um, but yes, there will be more. So welcome to Burnett Life. Let me just show you guys this couch that I got Friday and um, start another vlog this evening. So, I'm just going through a lot, man. I really am. I'm going through a lot this morning. I worked out this morning. Everything was good until I got in the car and I just messing with the phone and just lost the footage. The footage is... But it will be okay. Yes, it will. I'm starting to feel a lot better. I'm starting to feel a lot better. So here's the couch. This is it. I did have it over there at first. But I put it over here. I think it looks a lot better over here. I do plan on getting accent chairs to put right there. And right there. Um, put up the rest of the blinds. Plants and whatnot. And yeah. This couch is fairly comfortable. I love it. It is 100% um, top grain leather. Um, it gets better as um, as the years go by. It scratch, 
it scratches easily um but which is okay because they explained to me that um the scratches on the couch gives a character i don't know who went and put this big old scratch right here if you guys can see probably one of my kids but um it will be okay but this couch is very comfy it fits perfectly in this space yeah but um this is life this is life you have your ups and your downs and one of my ups when i went to pick up this couch i was so proud of myself and then the song independent uh, miss independent by neo miss independent to the fullest i think something like that mm, no but um as soon as the couch was placed in the car and i started driving off the song came on it was everything whatever i'm not gonna think about it but it is what it is so yeah but i'm gonna do something with my hair hopefully i can today after i'm done editing this video but um remember to like and subscribe guys give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video um god bless you all burn that life i'm out bye <laughs>